Today's Doodle celebrates Hassan Abdul Qudus, an Egyptian journalist and author who wrote about current events in addition to fictional novels and short stories. On this day in 2022, the first widespread English translation for Qadis book, I Do Not Sleep, was released. It appealed to the masses in Arabic and across the globe when he wrote it in the 1950s, but it wouldn't be translated into English until much later because literary critics dismissed his simple, direct style. Qudus was born in Cairo, Egypt. On January 1, 1919, he developed a love for reading in his youth and began writing short stories and poems at age 11. After graduating from law school, he worked as an apprentice lawyer while trying out a journalism career at a magazine founded by his mother, Rose Al Yusuf. While working here, Kudis realized he wanted to work in the industry he was passionate about. He dove into writing articles and stories and became an editor for Egypt's Daily Al Akbar newspaper and editor in chief for news outlet Al Akram. As a journalist, Kudis covered a variety of current events. In his popular column A Cafe on Politics Street, he wrote about social issues with a conversational narrative technique, similar to discussions a person might overhear in a cafe. He was jailed several times for his controversial writings and political stances, but that didn't prevent him from sharing his views. In addition to his journalism, Kudis wrote over 60 fictional books and short stories. Common themes from his books are love, politics, psychology of social behavior, spirituality, and religion. Strong female characters were central in many of his works, with books like I Am Free advocating for women's equality and independence. Today, people around the world can appreciate the dozens of films adapted from his novels and enjoy his books that have been translated into German, French, English, Ukrainian, and Chinese. Special thanks to Ishan Abdel Kudus family for their collaboration on this project. Below Kudus grandson, Sharif, shares his thoughts on today's doodle and his grandfather's legacy. My grandfather died on January 11, 1990, when I was just 11 years old, yet he remains a definitional presence in my life. I remember his voice, his broad infectious smile, his undeniable charisma which infused any room he entered. He was fascinated by people and their stories, from the prince to the pauper, and he thoroughly enjoyed being in the company of others, living a truly social and political life. As a journalist, essayist, and novelist, his impact is difficult to overstate. Anywhere I travel across the Arab world, from Egypt to Palestine, Iraq to Yemen, I am unfailingly greeted with warm embraces and open eyes expressions of esteem when I am found to be related to the Isan Abdel Qudus. In a career that spanned over 50 years, he produced more than 600 short stories and 20 novels and he rose to become the most prolific and popular Arab writer of the 20th century. His extraordinary work explored complex sociological and political themes in contemporary Egyptian society breaking taboos by exploring issues such as class, morality, tradition, sexuality, corruption, and patriarchy. He also had an indelible impact on Egyptian cinema with 47 of his works being adapted into film, a record among Arab writers. He was more than just a novelist. As a journalist, editor, and political thinker, he played an influential role in Egypt's tumultuous modern history. A tireless proponent of freedom of expression, he spoke out against oppression and abuse of power remaining committed to principles, values, and independence throughout his life. For his courageous political stances and views, he was jailed several times by successive Egyptian rulers and faced multiple assassination attempts. He remains a towering figure in Egypt's political, journalistic and literary history, one with a particular flair for the memorable Among my favorites, culture represents a kind of will, the will of rebellion. Like, share and subscribe to Doodle Catalog.